If you guys want to see how I transform this filing cabinet from that to this, stay tuned. So I got this filing cabinet from the Goodwill store for approximately $1. They had a sale going on, like if you bought um, something else or a red sticker or something like that, it was $1. So I got it from used from the Goodwill and I, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it down a little bit. I'm just using some all-purpose cleaner here to clean it down. I'm just going to spray it down and then wipe it down a little bit. So if you do get a used filing cabinet, you probably want to wipe it down yourself as well. I'm not going to bore you guys to death with cleaning this whole thing, but I just wanted to show you how I kind of wiped it down a little bit. And as you guys can see, it was yucky. Yuck. So now I'm going to spray paint it. And if you guys will see, I'm using some Rust-Oleum spray paint. And it is black gloss. And I'm using this little um, handle. It's just amazing for any type of spray paint projects that you need to do. It makes it super simple. If you've ever spray painted anything in the past, you know how your finger is hurting the next day. And your little muscle in your arm, your forearm is hurting the next day. This little contraption completely eliminates all of that. And I want to say it was less than $5. And you can get it from like Lowe's or Hard or any other hardware store like that or Home Depot or anywhere you get your local um, hardware stuff from. So this is the finished product. As you can see, it's gone from brown to matte, I mean to shiny black now. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to put the decals on the front. So this paper right here. Um, each sheet was $1.99 and I got it from um, Hobby Lobby and they have all different types of designs and I'm going to show you at the end of this video another filing cabinet that I did with different gold designs um, but these sheets I'm just going to kind of roughly measure out what I need and then I'm cutting it so I already had the first one cut and so now I'm pretty much just tracing around the outline of it now I did not do this perfectly, I'm just using scissors. If you are um, a stickler for clean lines, straight lines, you probably want to use um, a razor or some other type of sharp cutter. That will cut it a lot better for you than these um, scissors in this way that I'm just commandering it. I'm just going for it. I'm not a stickler about having things have to be perfect. It's just going to be for my home office. I'm the only one that's going to see it. So it doesn't have to be perfect for me. But as you can see now, I'm cutting out the part where the handle goes. And I apologize to you guys, I'm a little stuffed up today. My allergies are acting crazy. So please forgive my voice in this video. And you want to do the same thing for all of your sheets. So this filing cabinet actually had um, four sheets. My other filing cabinet had five sheets that I used. You can create whatever, use whatever design you want to use, you know, whatever your creativity is. But I just like these gold foil ones. And each sheet was $1.99. And now I'm just going to glue it down using some Mod Podge glue. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm applying the glue. I'm just strictly applying it. And <clears throat> you want to be careful not to get any to drip over, which I did not perfect that, as you guys will, will see in this. And now I'm just pressing down the glue so that every piece has a portion of glue on it so that it will stick onto the front of the filing cabinet with ease. So I missed a corner, um, so I just added a little bit more. Now 
Now I'm just going to wipe down the edges and clean it up a little bit where some of the glue kind of spit out to the sides. So I'm just cleaning that up so it's not um, extra messy looking. And I'm just using an old towel to do that. Right now I'm looking for something heavy enough that I can sit on it to weigh it down so until it dries. I have this brick and so I'm laying it down there just to put some weight on it. So this is the finished um, design. I'm going to show you guys an up close look. So um, this is the actual, um, I use like a chevron print and a gold stripe print. And so this is the actual finished filing cabinet. And like I said, I did have two filing cabinets, so this is my second one that I created. The first one is on the left. I actually love that design. I got to do lips, stripes, polka dots, everything gold. I love it. Have you guys created a project like this? Let me know in the comments down below. I thank you guys for watching, and I ask that you please um, like this video. If you Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.